What's up guys, it's Dragon. This is an unexpected surprise. So this is a package from Hasbro. So I guess just quickly, I wanna applaud Hasbro. I mean, I think that sending this over shows a level of maturity and growth and I, uh, I'm grateful to have it. So in the spirit that it was sent, let's take a look inside. This is the Nerf Dino Squad PR package. And it's actually reflective of what a company like Hasbro can do with their promotional packaging, a la, it's always been interesting. So X-Shop produces what's a much more entry level product, but their PR packages are stunning. They have the best PR packages in the business bar none. And this looks like uh, Hasbro kind of taking a step up, going to their product design uh, sort of uh, department and having something really cool mixed up. I really just, I dig the color splash for the Dino Squad line. I like that it's got the hashtag here, hashtag Nerf Dino Squad. I like the use of font. I think this is a beautiful PR package and I really appreciate them sending it over. So inside, we have some marketing materials. It looks like we've got, hello Nerf fan, Hasbro ambassadors, sincerely Nerf team, thanks for collaborating. We want you to talk to Sophie on TikTok and at Hasbro on Twitter. We should say, <laughs> suggested messaging. I'm celebrating all things dino. And obviously uh, disclose that this is a uh, free product and that we are taking it in that spirit. Also, they took the opportunity to introduce Murph to us in this care package. All I wanna say is that I didn't think that Nerf necessarily needed a mascot. I'm afraid of Murph. Uh, he wants to unleash the play in us. But all I can say is that Murph represents the anthropomorphic personification of darts themselves. Terrifying. Uh, I don't want to meet Murph on the foamy battlefield. I am scared. I am man enough to admit it. All right. In the meantime, let's review these. So inside this package, we get the new armor strike as well as a raptor slash. Now the raptor slash we can set down here simply because we've done a raptor slash video in the past. That's a part of the original launch for the dino strike line. But this is completely new and I'm stoked to get it out of the package. So this is the armor strike. And it seems like in true dino squad fashion, dino strike fashion, it's an ankylosaurus inspired thing. And these tend to have pretty unique uh, design, like especially like they're definitely not the feathery dinosaur boys, which are very in vogue with Jurassic World and, and modern science kind of taking over. However, it's a super cool dinosaur. Obviously, like nobody asks what your favorite dinosaur anymore is. Uh, multiple people here on our staff. This is two separate people's favorite dinosaur. I am personally a raptor guy. I like old school Jurassic Park. However, uh, this, is, this is pretty sweet. Let's, uh, let's take it out of the package. Let's see what it's got under the hood. Before we do that though, on the back, it says it's got eight dart storage and the smash tail, and then an easy pump grip up front. And it's a revolver. So it's what I like to call a rife volver. It's a revolver rifle, right? All the fun of a revolver, but in a package that certainly you're not gonna be holstering. Let's, uh, let's dino do it up. Alrighty, so that's all plastic free packaging, which you know I like to applaud where I can. Uh, that's pretty cool. The blaster itself, pretty solid. You've got the classic kind of issue where the hand guard here, uh, if you have adult sized hands, if you're a child, this is not gonna be an issue at all. If your hands are larger, you're gonna scrape here and here. Interestingly enough, this onboard dart storage will hold eight darts in the back. And then of course you have eight in the cylinder and it comes with 16 darts. You could say that that's enough to fill the product completely, or you could say uh, that, you know, Hasbro is doubling your darts, which is an old school promotion from back in the aughts. All right, so fully loaded up with darts, we can talk about the design of the blaster. We'll go front to back. Uh, you've got kind of the muzzle device is this safety orange, but it's a much deeper orange than it usually would be, almost red. And then as we kind of come back through, you've got the eight dart cylinder. The eight dart cylinder has some very deep notches. The practical articulation here on the side is actually on the outside, not the inside or protected by a shroud. That's unusual, but uh, it looks fine here given kind of the sharp and angular nature of the splines going down the spine of the ankle sore. And then in the back, you've got kind of that club, that whip. Interestingly enough, there's two tactical rails on this blaster. There's one up top and one down here. I would like someone in the comment section to explain to me, I could maybe see here putting a flashlight on. However, if you look at the front profile of the blaster, you never see the rail. So you need a riser and then a rail so that you can put a sight up there. <laughs> Something. This one, this one I need somebody to explain. Somebody tell me what practical rail attachment you put where your hand is going to be crossing 
the back here. Now, I want to point out, like, it's it's a Nerf Blaster. It's, it's specifically a fantasy dinosaur tie-in Nerf Blaster, which means it doesn't have to be the most tactical blaster ever. In fact, the splines kind of make iron sights, so we're all good. But I want to know what the practical purpose is of putting a tactical rail on the back of the shortened stock. That said, the dart storage in the back actually looks very good, especially when fully loaded, it adds a little pop of color back there. And because of how it's designed, you can shoulder in so far as if you're a smaller foam flinger, uh, you could shoulder this thing very comfortably, very compactly, and you won't impact those darts. As far as, you know, the blaster itself goes, you've got a little bit of paint on this side, and then of course, uh, no paint on the other side. Uh, however, slam firing through, uh, hopefully it has slam fire after I said that right. Slam firing through, in terms of slam fire, we have no slam fire. All right, so we'll prime back forth. And uh, it's a pretty traditional, you know, pump action springer, except instead of using a mag fed system and a breech, you're working your way through a revolver. So uh, with that said, let's take it outside. Let's put it over the chronograph. Let's see what it looks like in the rainforest. All right, guys, so we're out here in the jungle with our armor strike. Let's, uh, let's put a few over the chronograph, see what we're working with. 71, 68, 77, 74, duplicate 74, 62. So I think it's pretty safe to say that this is performing a little better than your average elite blaster, certainly averaging right at around 70. I've been spoiled. I've been doing a lot of end war preparation recently and reviewing a lot of higher FPS blasters. It's important to remember that the primary demographic for this, you know, is kids, guys going to a birthday party, college campus goofball games like dorm battles. And in that sense, the dinosaur flavor is excellent and 70 FPS is plenty. There's nothing necessarily wrong with it. I'd like to see a little more performance because for me, performance is more exciting and betrays kind of more features and more things that I could do with the product. But, you know, there's always mod guides for that. Uh, Overall, the Armor Strike has an incredible industrial design. It's a very handsome blaster. I like the onboard storage. I'm very confused by these. I guess the big elephant in the room is, while the performance might not be anything, you know, to write home about, it is $35, which at this price point, there are a lot of options in the $30 to $40 range where you could get what is uh, considered by many to be a primary class hobby grade blaster. And so you really have to be in to the Ankylosaur to, to kind of appreciate this deco or have some sort of sweet paint job in mind or just be a dinosaur fiend for this to be the primary class pickup for you. Eight darts of onboard capacity. I think that this is a good one to wait for it to be on sale. All the same, I do sincerely appreciate Hasbro sending over the sample. It was nice to get to take a look at this one a little early and, uh, and get my hands on the latest and greatest in the Dino Squad actions. So again, a big thank you to them for sending it over and a huge thank you to you guys for watching. Let me know what you think of the Dino Strike line in general, and this blaster in particular. It would be a, a, a flagship style kind of price blaster uh, without the batteries required from the, uh, the Rex Rampage, right? So that's my look at the Armor Strike. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Somebody tell me what to do with this rail attachment. Much love, blast on, crack out.